Hi, so this gasifier unit, I mean, basically what it is, obviously, is a barrel with a door bolted on. Now, because of all that steel, I bothered to make this thing, which is a cradle for the barrel. And the barrel fits in the cradle... ...like that. So I bolted on a bracket here with the exhaust pipe coming straight out. Now, wherever there's a panel bolted on like that, Behind it is a whole load of that high temperature sealant. It's the same thing on the door because we want the gas only to go where we want it to go. So anywhere it might leak, then a whole load of sealant obviously is the answer. And here is my um, fire extinguisher cyclone. At the bottom it's waiting for its trap. It's got a bracket welded on. This pipe slots onto that pipe and then that's the exhaust pipe. And it goes on just there and has a retaining bolt that drops through the frame. So once that's on, which is the cyclone filter, then the top goes on, which is the fire tube, and that's this bit here. Now, I was going to weld the top onto here, but actually I've decided that given we've got a frame now, and I would want access, what I'm going to do is put sealant around there, so I've welded these bars on, and now this top just goes on there, once we put the sealant on, and the whole thing bolts down. Okay, so this is the cyclone filter, remember, and the gas comes out of here and it enters this filter, which was uh, an old um, fire extinguisher, at an angle, and it spirals down. This pipe, the exhaust pipe, actually goes down to about here. So the gas spirals down to the bottom, and then it comes back up the top. That spiralling action throws the heavier particles to the side, where they condense, and then they drip down the bottom. And there's a hole in the bottom of the fire extinguisher, obviously, where the handle was. And that's where this goes. This is the trap. Now what I've done here is taken the fitting off the fire extinguisher, which is right there, sawed it off and flattened it, and then welded it onto this bit of aluminium with that aluminium welding rod, so that it would go screw and be a nice tight fit. Now remember, anywhere you have a joint, you must put that sealant. So that will screw into the bottom of the fire extinguisher, and then all I've got is a glass jar. Now, I've heard lots of reports about this. Um, sometimes they say that fills quickly, sometimes they say it fills hardly at all. If that jar is too small, I can always replace it with the larger trap. Now, again, it's another one of those things I've probably gone overkill on, but I love the look of this kind of stuff. So all that happens is that screws on there. So there's the heart of it. This is the first stage filtration, which is the cyclone filter. Now this, it comes out at an angle into here, zips around, this pipe here goes to the bottom. As it zips around, the large particles get thrown out and then the gas comes out here. This gas needs to go to a second stage uh, cleaning process, or according to the FEMA book. And people do tell me to do other things, but I'm just following the FEMA book. It comes out into a large metal box. Now the box has a bottom in it, and this comes into the bottom of the box. That bottom has holes in it and a baffle plate, so the gas can rise up one side, down the other side, and exit out again. And as it does that, it goes through some sawdust. And that sawdust does get dirty, but of course it's sawdust, so you can stick it right in here and just recycle the thing. And that is what Fumi recommend, so that's what I'm going to do. Now, the spend on this so far, actually, is just ludicrous. It's £12. I spent £12 on that bit of pipe. The rest of this I've just found, and, and I've repurposed, and that always amuses the hell out of me, really. Anyway, I'll get on with that second stage box, and we'll do an update on that. I hope you enjoyed the update so far, and thank you very much for watching.